how to log into cash app with cash tag hi everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video i'll simply guide you through the steps on how you can log into cash app with your cash tag so make sure to watch the video till the very end so if you're aware cash app usually requires your email address or your phone number to log into their platform but what if you have neither of those and then you just want to log in with your cash tag well as you can see here i have either phone or email option if i don't have my phone i can tap the use email option now to answer your question can you log into cash app with your e cash tag well the answer is absolutely no because your cash tag can be seen by everybody on cash app if the search for you your cash tag is going to come up which means that you could be trying to log into anybody else's account that is why cash app has restricted this feature now instead what you can do is you can just go ahead and make sure to enter your email address because basically you don't really need to remember your cash tag in order to log into your account you can either use your email address or you can either use your phone number once you enter the email address here just tap on it and select the option called next once you select the next option what you want to do is on the next page you can see it says enter the confirmation code so what i will do is now i will just go ahead and make sure to open up my email over here check whether or not i've received a confirmation code from cash app and then i'm going to copy this code here then once i copy it i'm just going to come back and then paste it and then hit the next option to log in but keep in mind that you cannot log in using a cash tag you definitely need your phone number or your email address hope this video was helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have got any more questions then feel free to leave them down in the comment section thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video